GPT-J is one of the most exciting language models of today. It is one of the largest open alternatives to OpenAI's GPT-3. Like its bigger sister, it can summarize long documents, automatically generate computer code, run chatbots that are actually useful, and can do many other things. But unlike its bigger sister, it is way smaller. Only 6 billion parameters versus 175 billion in GPT-3. Smaller size means that it's cheaper to use in inference. But does it also mean that it's not as good as GPT-3? No, when it is used out of the box, it's not as good. But GPT-J is open, which means that users can take publicly available version of the model and send it back to school, adapt to the specific domain or task via fine-tuning with their proprietary data. And after being fine-tuned, it performs really, really well. Actually, much better than GPT-3 can do out of the box. So that's great, right? Yes. But unfortunately, that's not an easy thing to fine-tune GPT-J. It is still big. Six billion parameters, it's not a joke. Unless you have a big GPU cluster, parallel computing expertise, and plenty of time, you were out of luck. Until today. At Cerebrus, we made it not only possible, but easy to continuously pre-train and fine-tune GPT-J on a single CS2 system. If you have been thinking about what GPT-J can do for you, but have been put off by how difficult it is to fine-tune and adapt to your own domain and task using conventional infrastructure, now it's the time to get in touch with us. GPT-J, Cerebrus, easy.